Hello everyone, this is Mr. Delicious. Welcome back again. And we are continuing, this is video number two for the grade 10 mathematics uh, uh, 2010 past exam papers. And we continue for part A and that is question number four. Okay, so this is the question number four. I'll show it to you, the question number four. The question number four is says here that the area of the circle is 27 square centimeter. What is the area of the shaded sector? Okay, so in this kind of question, uh, you don't have to panic because we go back to the basic on finding the area of the circle. Okay, let me, let me now illustrate the diagram so it would be easy for us to follow on how to work out when it comes to finding the area of the sec sector of the given circle. Okay, so we have this circle. This is the circle. Okay, and remember that you have only three minutes to uh, work out a particular question. And that means that you have to work with the time pressure okay and that is normal so the the angle of the sector here is 150 degrees now it is already given that the area of the circle the area of the circle is 27 square centimeter so when you encounter this question in the exam don't worry don't panic as long as you are watching this video, I am pretty sure you will be able to secure the one mark in your national examination. Okay, so the area, this is now the solution, huh? the solution. Take note, the area of a circle uh, a, of a sector is equal to pi r square. Okay. Pi r squared, that's the area of the uh, circle. Then you are going to have multiply it because of this sector. We are going to uh, involve this one in the formula of finding the area. Take note, pi r square is the area of the circle. And we are asked to find the area of this sector. So this is the shaded part. And this shaded part has 150 degrees uh, uh, in, inscribed. So 150. Okay. Now, the total uh, uh, angle, when we are going to have one complete revolution, that is equal to one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. So, when you are going to have a complete revolution, meaning that the complete cycle there, that is equal to 360 degrees in degree unit. <clears throat> and so, because we are going to find the area of this sector, the area of the circle, pi r square, we multiply it by <clears throat> the ratio of 150 degrees over 360 degrees okay so this is how you are going to work it out if you encounter similar question in your national examination <clears throat> okay now <clears throat> the area of the circle is already given which is 27 so you just have to write down 27 multiply that one <clears throat> so this one we cancel the degree that cancel the degree the, we cancel it because it's a division. And what's the next one? We cancel the zero. We cancel the zero. Cancellation method when it comes to division operation. <clears throat> what about 15 and 36? Is there any common uh, value that can uh, factorize between 15 and 36? Very good. Okay, so this one can be divided by can be divided by three. This one also can be divided by uh, three. Okay, so we're trying to simplify it so that it is easy for us to uh, work out the answer. Okay, 
15 divided by 3 is 5. <clears throat> okay, that's 5. And then 36 divided by 3 is 12. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So now we are now left with the area of the sector is 27 times 5 over 12. Take note of the, the options here. Letter A is 9 square centimeter. Letter B, 11.25 square centimeter. Letter C, 11.5 square centimeter. Letter D, 12.25 square centimeter. And letter E, 15.75 square centimeter. Okay? So they are all... Uh, <clears throat> uh, Four of the options are in decimal. So let's work it out. If we have 27 and 12, what do you think is the uh, uh, highest common factor that we can use between 27 and 12 so that we can simplify this uh, expression here or this number? Okay, 27. The common number that you can divide. So 27 that could be divided by 3 and also 12 divided by 3. Okay, you get it now? So what we have now is 27 divided by 3 is, that is 9. Okay, next one. This is multiplied by the 5 is remain because we are not touching it. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay. The reason why you should do this is because in your national examination, you are not allowed to use a calculator. So it is best for you that you are going to do this kind of working out, simplifying until you get the answer. So now we are left with the area of the sector is equal to uh, 9 times 5 is 45 divided by 4. Okay, <clears throat> 45 divided by 4. So now at this time, you can have 45 divided by 4. So what we have, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. That is now 0. You bring down this 5. So 5 divided by 4 is also 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. So another 0 here. We have, a, I mean, decimal point, decimal point. You add the 0, bring down that 0 over there, and now you have 10. 10 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. And now you have 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Okay? And then you add another zero, bring down that zero. Now you are left with uh, 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Now you have the remainder as zero. So your final answer now is the area of the sector. The area of the sector is equal to 11.25. And therefore, the correct answer for this question is, okay, the correct answer for this question is letter B. Letter B, 11.25, the answer to the question in finding the area of the shaded sector in this given diagram. So this is question number three and... This is video number two and watch for this one and find out and learn from this. So see you in video number three for question number four. Bye-bye.